Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, the Kakadash, and come back to you today with another great and powerful lesson through the spirit and the power of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And the title of today's lesson is Walking in the Spirit. Walking in the Spirit. So, you know, of course, we, you know, once we come into this truth, you know, we must continue. We must uh, continue to endure, you know, and constantly uh, 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 follow the commandments the best of our uh, ability, you know, in this wicked kingdom that we're in right now. You know, it's so easy to uh, to fall out of the truth. You know, a lot of things could go on. You can have a woman, a wife, uh, you can have children, you know, your job, finance, uh, money, you know what I'm saying? Also the same thing. And you can have things that, that could be in the way, could weigh you down, you know, and you can go back in the ways of the world and fall out of the truth. So it's very important to trust and believe in Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, and walk in, in the spirit each and every day. You know what I'm saying? Call on the true name of the heavenly father, which in fact is Yahweh, is the father name, the great king that sits on the throne. And our Lord and Savior, and I deliver the one that's on the way to come to, to retrieve us is uh, Yahweh Shai. So we must constantly uh, 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 have our conversation holding each and every day and walk uh, 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 the, the best of our ability, you know what I'm saying? And, 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 and to stay, you know, upright in this wicked kingdom, you know, and walking in all this darkness. But we have that great marvelous light that only comes from Yahweh Shem, Yahweh Shai. So, uh, I like to say shalom to all our listeners and learners and hope that this will help someone today that you keep the faith and uh, keep strengthening uh, uh, yourself and, and, and that you continue to uh, trust and believe in Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And uh, we'll get started in the book of Galatians chapter 5 and we'll start up at verse 16. This I say then, walk in the spirit and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh Verse 17, for the flesh lusts against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary, the one to the other, so that ye cannot do things that ye would. Verse 18, but if ye be led of the spirit, ye is not under the law. So the idea about it, you know, we are constantly warring with our flesh each and every day in the corruptible bodies, you know. And uh, the idea about it, you know what I'm saying, we, we, we're not uh, in our first state, we are in our lower state right now. So we're struggling, you know what I'm saying, and you know, our spirit must be stronger than our flesh. We must not let our uh, spirit, you know, our sinful uh, body that we're in overtake us. You know, that's why we must constantly walk, you know what I'm saying, in the right path, in the right uh, uh, mindset, and trust and believe in Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And I deal about it, you know what I'm saying? We won't go wrong. We'll constantly be built up in faith. You know what I'm saying? We'll constantly uh, have that stability that only comes from Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah. So now we'll start back up at verse uh, verse 19. And it reads, Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these, adultery, fornication, uncleanness, and lachievousness. Lach lach so the idea about it is that you know what I'm saying? We got to be very careful not to walk in the flesh. You know what I'm saying? We must constantly walk in the, in the spirit because if we don't, you know what I'm saying? It's easy to fall back in the ways of the world and all this filthiness and this uncleanness. You know what I'm saying? Uh, things that's displeasing to, to our Lord and Savior. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, we, we, we constantly must constantly endure. We must labor in this truth each and every day. Work out our salvation with uh, fear and trembling and constantly stay in that right uh, mindset and that right path. You know what I'm saying? And that marvelous light. You know what I'm saying? I deal about it. You know what I'm saying? Keep our conversation whole and stay around the believing that the ones that believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh, that he died on the cross for us, that he's coming back for us. We must keep that in our mind each and every day. You know what I'm saying? Constantly read and study to show ourselves approved each and every day and walk in the spirit each and every day, you know, and do the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. So now we'll drop down. Let's drop down to uh, verse 21. Galatians chapter 5 and verse 21. I say, uh, if evening, uh, uh, murderers, uh, drunkenness and revelings and such like of, of which I tell you before, as as I have also told you in the past, in 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 time past, so like that they which I do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of the Most High. 
So the ideal about it, you know what I'm saying? You know, a lot of you know sinful work that we had we had done on this earth, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying, we have been drunk and you know, we did a lot of fornication, adultery, you know what I'm saying, a lot of envy and strife, you know, that would not enter into the kingdom of heaven. That's why it's so important to walk in the faith and constantly believe that what we haven't seen, but yet we, we believe because we are constantly trusting and believing it in Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah. That's why we must keep that same mindset. Keep that great spirit, that great light upon us, you know what I'm saying, each and every day. You know what I'm saying, all uh, all in our mind each and every day, we think about the Lord. We we think about the name of the Lord. And we get in any type of situation, we call on the name of the Lord. Yahweh Shem, Yahweh Shah, constantly walking in that in, in that great spirit, you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying, that they that, 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 that give us a, a, a release, you know, give us a relief, mean to say, Salakia. And that it, 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 it just it's just a wonderful thing to be in this word and constantly stay in this word because we knowing that we are, are getting ready to go into our kingdom, the world without end. You know what I'm saying? There's a great reward is coming, but we must constantly walk in the spirit and trust and believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. So now we'll go to a second uh let's go to Second Corinthians. One moment. We go to Second Corinthians chapter five. And verse seven, and it reads, for we walk by faith, not by sight. Let's read that again. Second Corinthians chapter five and verse seven, for we walk by faith, not by sight. So that deal about it, you know what I'm saying? We, we, we walking by faith. You got to have that faith, you know what I'm saying? And believing that what you have not seen, but yet you still believe, you know what I'm saying? Because you know, you, 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 you feel it all around. You seeing it because we have a spiritual eye, you know what I'm saying? And the ideal about it, he only give that great gift to the one that stayed loyal to him, the house of David, the elect, you know what I'm saying? So the ideal about it, we are walking in faith, you know what I'm saying? So the ideal about it, we are constantly being in the spirit each and every day, dwelling in that great, a uh, 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 secret place that you know that that is that come from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. You know what I'm saying? We have that great hedge of protection up, upon us. You know what I'm saying? We are knowing what's coming. You know, He only re revealed His secret to the prophets. And the idea about it, we 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 knowing that we have just a short time. We knowing the signs of the time. We are walking circumspect each and every day, paying attention and hearkening and believing in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. So now we'll go to Psalms. Let's go to Psalms. One moment. Let's go to Psalms uh, 119. One moment. 119 and 105. 119 and 105. And it reads, None, thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Let's read that again. Psalm chapter 19 and, and 105. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. So that deal about it, we are walking in the light, you know, in, in this great uh, wicked kingdom, you know what I'm saying? Uncleanness, all this filthiness, you know what I'm saying? But we have, we have that, that great eye salve, you know what I'm saying? That great wisdom and knowledge, that Holy Spirit that is upon us, you know what I'm saying? So we are walking in, 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 in a lot of darkness, a lot of evilness, you know what I'm saying? But that deal about it, you know, the directing our paths is that light. That only come from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, and we're constantly walking in the spirit and believing and keeping the faith and, and, and building our strength each and every day and hastening on that great and glorious return of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. So now we'll go to John. Let's go to John chapter four. Get a little bit more edification. John chapter four. I mean, first John chapter four. First John chapter four and verse one. First John chapter four and verse one. And it reads, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but uh try the spirit whether they are of Yahweh, because many false prophets are gone gone but unto the world. Let's read that again. Uh first John chapter four and verse one. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirit, whether uh, they are of Yahweh, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Verse 2, hereby know ye the spirit of Yahweh. Every spirit that confesses that Yahweh Shah Masah is the king in the flesh is, 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 is of the power. 
Verse 3, Salak. Verse 3. And every spirit that confesses not that Yahweh Shai Mashiach is come in the flesh is not of Yahweh. And this is and this is that spirit of Antichrist, whereof ye have heard that it should come, and even now already is it in the world. So that deal about it, you know, we must have a discerner of the spirit. You know, that's why we got to constantly walk and believe and keep the faith, walking in the spirit each and every day, dwelling in this great wisdom and knowledge, that marvelous light. And I deal by you must be a discerner of the spirit. You know, when someone approach you, you know what I'm saying, and by you knowing the word, you know what I'm saying, you can either uh, examine them, you know what I'm saying, and be a discerner of the spirit because, you know, he give you that great gift. You know what I'm saying? That great mindset. You know what I'm saying? You'll know that when you see a, a false prophet among you, if they don't believe that that Yahweh Shai came in the flesh and died for our sin, then they are of the Antichrist. They are totally against what we believe in. You know what I'm saying? They are of the devil. So that deal about it, you know, we're not going in the ways of the world. We are in the spirit. You know what I'm saying? And that deal about it, we're constantly walking in that great wisdom and knowledge. You know what I'm saying? That only come from Yahweh Shai. So now we'll start back up. Uh, we'll start back up at verse uh, 4. Uh, John, first John chapter four and, uh, verse four, ye are, ye are of God, little children and have overcome them because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Verse five, they are of the world. Therefore speak they of the world and the world hears them. Verse six, we are of the power, he that knows Yahweh hears hears us. He that is is not of the power hears hears not us. Hereby now we we the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. So the idea of body, you know, we we have the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and, and the two thirds in the world they they don't hear the truth. Like we hear the truth. You know, he said, my sheep we hear. Hear his voice, so the idea about it, we walk in the spirit each and every day. We hear and we hearken to him. We are paying attention. We are looking around. You know what I'm saying? We are being sober. We being vigilant. You know what I'm saying? Because we we got our eyes on the pride. We know that the kingdom of heaven is right at hand. So now we we'll, we'll go to uh, let's see where we'll go to now. One moment. One moment. Let's go to uh, Matthew chapter uh, 4, Salakia. Let's go to Matthew chapter 4. One moment. Matthew chapter 4. And we'll start at the top. Matthew chapter 4 and verse 1. And it reads, Then then was Yahweh led up, led up of the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. Verse 2. And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, he was afterwards and hungered. He was very hungry. And verse 3. And when the tempter came to him, he said, If thou be the son of Yahweh, command that these stones be made made bread. So the idea of the body, you know what I'm saying? Uh, our Lord and Savior, how was you? He fasted for 40 days and 40 nights. He was tempted by Satan, you know, the, the, the Satan demon, the spirit of the demon, uh, Satan, you know what I'm saying? He came in and he, he, he tried to, uh, tempt him. And then that great hour of temptation is coming to us also. We will be also tempted, you know what I'm saying? If we follow and walking in the spirit as Yahweh Shai Mashiach did, you know what I'm saying? We, we got to go and, and walk in his way and his path. So the same thing will come upon us once again. That's why we must trust and believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and constantly walk in the spirit. So now we'll start back up at verse 4 and it reads, Matthew chapter 4 and 4 and it reads, and it says, but he answered and said, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but every word that proceeds out the mouth of Yahweh. Let's read that again. Matthew chapter 4 and verse 4. But, but he answered and said, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of the Most High. So the ideal about it is that, you know, 
everything that we do, you know what I'm saying? We must constantly uh, 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 take on our daily bread each and day, you know, study in this great wisdom and all this truth, you know, and uh, walk in the faith, constantly believe, keep the faith, you know what I'm saying? Strengthen ourselves, endure, you know what I'm saying? Constantly labor in this work, work out our own salvation with fear and trembling, you know what I'm saying? We must constantly walk in that great wisdom and knowledge, you know what I'm saying? That only come from Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. So now we'll go to our last and final verse. We'll go to Romans. Let's go to Romans chapter 12. One moment. Romans chapter 12 and verse 2. Romans chapter 12 and verse 2, and it reads, And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. So let's read that again. Uh, Romans chapter 12 and verse 2. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is good and acceptable and perfect will of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. So we must have that great renewing of the mind. You know, once we get the renewing of the mind, take off the old man and put on the new man and start walking in his great wisdom and knowledge, walking in the spirit each and every day, we come transformed and we believe, you know what I'm saying, what's coming, you know what I'm saying? We being a discerner of the time. We know that we're living in the last time now, you know what I'm saying? So that deal about, it, you know, we must endure comfortably. Uh, 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 we have fiery trial, you know, uh, 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 trials of, uh, uh, adversity, but that did about through it all. You know what I'm saying? We see that the kingdom of heaven is right at hand. Uh, we trusting and believing in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. We must stay in the right path. You know what I'm saying? And that right path is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. You know what I'm saying? Walk in the faith. I mean, walk in the spirit. So like each and every day, and we will get there. You know, one that endure, the same shall be saved. So I like to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah Bashim Rekakadash. And I like to say, shallow warm.